All right, so Bad Boy Boogie by ACDC. This is off of uh, 1977's Let There Be Rock album. And um, I'm making this video just a few days after Malcolm uh, Young has passed away. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit here. So if you want to skip ahead to the lesson, I'll put a... But up here, I'll put a message or something there to take you to the lesson. But uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about Malcolm um, and just what an incredible... Uh, <laughs> You know, guitar player, but writer, like riff writer, like one of the most gifted, uh, just had the knack for coming up with those awesome licks, right? Super simple stuff. You know, stuff like that, just absolutely killer. And uh, I mean, if it was easy to do, everybody would do it, right? But it takes a certain knack, and he just had it. He just just had it, you know, so strong. That album, Let There Be Rock, was produced by um, a guy called uh, Harry Vanda and George Young. George Young is um, Angus and Malcolm's older brother. Uh, Harry Vanda and George Young were in a band called the Easy Beats in the 60s, and uh, they had that hit, Friday On My Mind. It was kind of a big hit. Um, but they were like a pop band, you know? <laughs> A million miles away from where ACDC are, or were, are. George Young actually wound up passing away just in October of this year. So it's been like, uh, it's been a real hellish time for Angus Young, right? With both his older brothers passing away. Anyways, um, the production on this album, Let There Be Rock and Power Age, to me, with uh, George Vanda and or Harry Vanda and George Young was just it was like the best ever because it would, it just captured the rawness and the power of the band right in my opinion Highway to Hell was great too with um, Mutt Lang but Mutt Lang has a more of a polished style which I love too you know I mean I love it all but I think the actual raw essence of the band was captured on these two albums anyways okay that's enough of me yakking here. Um, and also, uh, before I go on, Bon Scott, I mean, absolutely killer. Uh, to me, you know, my humble opinion kind of thing, there's just, there's no comparison to Bon Scott. There's nobody will ever come close to him as, like, the, the lyrics he wrote, uh, um, his voice, just killer. It, but his personality and his vibe was just, to me, that was when he was in the band, you know, this album, Let There Be Rock, Power Age, Highway to Hell, the absolute pinnacle of the band. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's get going on this. Bad Boy Boogie, it's a song that uh, probably it's not in their top ten with most people, but to me this is an absolutely killer song, and it's one that totally captures the band, and, uh, uh, you know, Malcolm's, like, writing is just awesome in this. Okay, so we're going to start out, and I'll show you Malcolm's part first. Angus is going to start out like, yes? And then Malcolm's going to go... So that lick is, it's an open A, it's in the key of A, right, standard tuning. And then we're going to grab the D and the G string on the 7th, and then D and G in the 5th, and then two A's, open A and A on D7. And when he does it, he's kind of like, he gets that G. how the beginning goes so Angus is like and then Malcolm is da 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 right you get that he sort of pushes it on the open A da 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 pushes it again there and then we just double up the lick right so it just and then it's down to the A chord and he's just gonna go like this so that's like in that little G to A thing, right? So. Right? And 
it's, you know, really specific playing. When we're doing that lick... You know, really, it's really clean and exact, right? And then we're going to go, that's just an A chord, or sorry, a G chord to an F chord to a D chord. Malcolm is going to go down to this E. Alright, so it's just an E power chord to an A power chord, but focusing on that A string. And then we're going to get into that. It's like a C power chord, E power chord, and then. Right? And it kind of little ghost notes of the A in there. So. And then we do this lick, right? Which is just a seven, six, five on the D to seven on the E. And make sure you get that with your little finger, right? Because our next note is the C on A3. If you do it with this finger, we're gonna wind up sliding it down. And I actually, when I made my demo, I screwed that up and went, and I got a little trail there, right? You know, if you really listen, you can hear that. And I, I wasn't really happy with it. But what I should have done is, right, done the little finger there, and then you can hit that C easily. And then we go just a little, little tiny bend on the D string, or on the D5, or sorry, A string, A5. end up on that A5, just bent a little bit sharp. <laughs> really weird, but it is. It's a little bit sharp. Okay, and then it goes into the guitar solo, and Ma uh, Malcolm in the guitar solo go goes like this. So it's C, A, right? I mean, that's what I think he's doing. Up to D. And E. Just C A, right? With again with the ghost on cloud A string. Eventually, just ends on that power chord. Right? It's like a breakdown at first, and then the band comes in. And then it stops. And then we're going to go. Right? So the lick is different now. So it's.
Cristo. Then we go up to the D. Right? Just doubling up that lick and then to the E. That goes on and on, but that's how it ends. So it just ends on. And that's Malcolm's part. Okay, so now we get into Angus's part, and it's going to start like this. So it's just doubling Malcolm's part except for the beginning, which is like one, two, three, four, right? Just on that A power chord. Try not to hit that third. And then we push that open A, right? So the last time would be two, three, four, one, and two, and three, and four. And then um, he's just going to go, the last time would be... And that is like G on the D, right? It's G and F. And on the E, it's A and G. And then we get into this. Just single strings. It's funny, you know, whenever I teach ACDC stuff, it's like, it always seems so simple. And it is, but that's the genius of it, right? These simple parts uh, with low gain guitars that combined with the bass and drums just sound like incredibly awesome and huge, right? But you'd never think it by... But when you combine that with... You know, it just makes it huge. And then that ends by going... We just doubling up Malcolm there with a little finger, right? Okay, and then um, we're gonna get into uh, we end that with that slightly sharp D, and then it's the solo, right? So coming out of the solo, we're gonna get into the. Um, let me see. The solo is gonna end on. Right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna push that A uh, A note on D7, end of the solo. <laughs> and that's all there is to that, right? Just push it and then just keep hammering that A note until. Again, we'll be doubling, uh, we start to double Malcolm's part there, right? Now,
right? Exactly the same as um, except just single notes. And that's it for Angus's part. Okay, so next we're uh, going to quickly look at the solo. And the solo I didn't do exactly like him. I just, I mean, I basically um, <laughs> just kind of, you know, did my own thing. I just kind of did a couple of takes of it and just kept the second one. So he's starting on there. Right there. And then he's kind of just playing off of this E string thing. Right? And then back to that. And then I kind of went like... You know, it wasn't exact. I don't even really remember what I did there. It's just kind of, it's, you know, rather than thinking of specific notes, um, it's just a feel thing, right? I think I ended it like that. And then... When it goes to D, we go up to the D minor pentatonic, because that first bit was A minor, right? So then we go. Just stuff like that, right? And then, when we go to the E, he pushes the lick there, and he goes, oh, so it's... something like that right but it's starting on the off right so one two one and two and three and four and right I'll do it really slow so we're doing that finger roll thing right back up right so it, it's again it's not a specific thing it's just you just kind of start doing it and see what happens right just ending on that bent note on the 15th right and then it's or sorry then it's that A string thing right okay so that's pretty well it for the solo that I did there's a little bit more soloing on the original track, too. Um, and I didn't go into that because my version was kind of compressed. All right, so that's it for this one. Um, Malcolm Young, one of the greatest of all time. Rhythm players, riff writers, you know, just incredible. And uh, like I always say, I hope you get something out of this lesson. Uh, I hope you, it gives you a few insights into how they did it. Um, the thing with them is it's simple, but it's not simple, you know. Simple, but it's super precise, and I think that's the difference when you go see, you know, a bar band or whatever, and they just don't sound right. It's because a lot of times they're just using way too much gain, and they're not precise about what they're doing. They're sort of, it's like, well, this is sort of it. You know, that's close enough, right? But um, if you really listen to ACDC, man, it is so tight, and it's so clean, and it's so exact and specific, right? And that's what makes them sound so tight and what made them such a great band and a huge band, in my opinion, right? All right, so like I said, I hope you enjoy the lesson and we'll talk to you next time.